Our universe is composed of matter, humans, planets, stars. All what we can see in the cosmos is made up of atoms. It is called baryonic matter. This matter accounts for less than 5% of the known universe, and about 25% is dark matter. Dark matter, this invisible mysterious substance that scientists have never seen or observed directly. So, how do we know it's there? How about the wind? You can see the moving, but you can see its effect on other things. Such was the case with dark matter. Well, back in the 1930, astronomer Fred Zwicky discovered by his calculations that the force of gravity from all the stars we can see isn't strong enough to hold galaxies together. The stars should be flying away and not form galaxies, but they are not. So he said that there must be something holding them in place and he called it dark matter. In the 1960, astronomer Vera Rubin was observing how the orbital speed of stars depends on their distance from the center of a galaxy so that she could calculate how the mass is distributed through the galaxy. According to Johann Kepler, the farther a planet is from the Sun, the slower its orbit. Similarly, she expected that the farther the stars were from the center of a galaxy, the slower they would be moving. However, what she got was the opposite. The stars on the edge moved as fast as the ones at the center, which contradicted Newton's laws of motion, and that was the real evidence of the existence of dark matter. But besides of being able to calculate the existence of dark matter, we can see that a place with a high concentration of dark matter bent lies passing nearby. So we understand that there is something there which interacts with gravity. The problem is that maybe there is no dark matter and we just might have been wrong all these years about how gravity works. Sounds like a huge scientific revolution is waiting to happen. It really shows that everything we experience it is only a tiny fraction of reality and that our understanding of the world is only on its beginning phase, which makes us feel small in this gigantic universe. So hope we'll find more specific answers in a few couple years and thanks for watching!